Hey guys, I'm Jane Newbury, and today I'm going to teach you how to curve the cue ball. And there it goes. First off, I want to apologize that this video is going to be a little longer than usual. This is a highly requested video, and I want to get into a little more detail than I did the last tutorial, because that tutorial was just put the balls here, shoot, hit there, make them up. The end. This is a little bit more difficult. This is a little bit defined physics. Curving the cue ball around the rack without hitting anything except for this key right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is right here. Just to help out a little bit, you don't have to use it, just to make sure I can get this video in. Okay, first off, very, very, very hard shot. Curving the cue ball has another term for it. It's called a masse. Now, masse is French for awesome pool trick shot magic curve thing. French lessons with Jaden Dupree. Should start that start that series, but we're not gonna start the series yet. We're gonna do a little bit more trick shots, and I'll get into the French. Hold the cue. This is a masse cue. It is a lot shorter than a regular cue and a lot heavier than a regular cue. And the tip is a little wider, so you get more contact area on the cue ball. And I like to hold it like this. I put the bottom of my wrist right here below my glove, as you see. I put that on my hip and hold the cue like this. You can't really tell how I'm holding it. You hold a regular cue like this if you play pool. And then when you want to mess a bring it up, turn it, and there you are. So, that's how you hold it. Also, one of the biggest parts, in my opinion, this is the biggest part. One of the biggest parts is also chalk. Make sure your tip is fully chalked up. But the biggest part is thickness of the cue ball. You can't really tell how thick I'm hitting it here. I'll try to get a camera from this side to show you how thick I'm really hitting it. And so, like, if this is an example of hitting too thick. This is what happens. I did not hit that too thick. This is an example of hitting too thick. It just goes up. Doesn't come back at all. And I'm not going to show you what hitting too thin looks like. I'm not going to show you, like, I'm not going to hit too thin because that can mess up your felt. Just, this is what it looks like. Hitting too thick. Hitting too thin. Also, the spin on the cue ball. What we want it to do is we want it to curve left a little bit. So we're going to put some left spin on the cue ball. So it's going to come up, it's going to curve left, and it's going to come back. Sometimes you put too much left spin, it'll come up, it'll hit this cue, and it'll just... Do that, and then it will come back like that. So we don't want to do that. I might accidentally do that when I shoot this shot. I do it a lot. It takes a while to learn how to do this shot. It is very, very hard shot. And I've, I'm up here practicing hours trying to perfect this, and no one can perfect it. No one can perfect it. It's just the truth. It's just... You have to practice it and just get as good as you can at it. It takes a while. So we got how to hold the cue. You need to be like 90 degrees, 85 degrees. Some people, they're, they're like, Jaden, why do you put your knee up on the table? I like to be a little taller than I already am. I like to get over on the cue ball. So like if I'm right here and I don't, I uh, feel like lean and put my back in a weird position and that's not comfortable here I'll, I'll show you to where I can you can I'll do that it's not comfortable so I put my knee on the table I just have to do this so much easier so much easier I don't have to do that I should make that the thumbnail thumbnail <laughs> that was fun okay so aiming corner pocket, I aim for the corner pocket. You cannot see the full table, but you know what a pool table looks like and it's there. So 
and then thickness of the cue ball, left spin, all that. Uh, if I miss, I can just show you what I did wrong. Make sure your tip follows through and hits the belt when you shoot. And there it goes. And that is how you mass say. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for my own stupidity in this video. Uh, next camera clip of how of what the shot looks like. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment whatever you want. I don't care. I like reading comments. It's my favorite thing to do. And also, wait, I wanted to get something out of the way. Some people think this shot works because my table is on level. I get a ton of comments on how it is not real and how my table messes everything up, I would like to show you something. Cue ball. It's right there. Is it spinning backwards? No. Is it doing anything breaking physics? No. So you haters are wrong. It's real. It's real. What am I doing? Okay. So thank you for watching. Please try the shot. I really want to see how you do. I had a couple of amazing people uh, do the shot last time. And it was awesome. I loved watching it. It was just amazing to know that I got people to learn how to do a shot. Even though it was a simple shot, it was just hit three balls going. This is a lot more difficult. I would love to see your attempt at this. And I... I would like to see it. Tag me in it. If you do it, post it to Instagram. Tag me, Dupree underscore Trick Shots. Or post it to Facebook and tag me. I think my page is Jaden Dupree Trick Shots Dupree, but I think it's at Dupree Trick Shots is my tag name thing. Thank you for watching. That cue ball is still there. It is not moving backwards. My table is not unlevel. Table doesn't mess it up. I don't edit it. This is all real. I'm terrible at editing. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. I don't have the best editing softwares or anything. It's just... It's there. It's not moving backwards. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. See? It's not, it's not unlevel this way either. It's not, it's not going this way. Perfectly level. Perfectly level table. Again, thank you for watching. Tag me in your attempts. Uh, sorry that this video is long. This is really fun to do. I love talking. Talking is my favorite. I'm doing it right now. I'm so happy. But thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. And thank you for watching.